So as you can see, we're standing in a pretty small backyard here. And today's tech tip is going to involve moving one spray head a very short distance, and I'll explain why. This customer just installed this gazebo, and they plan on putting pavers in this entire area. They're not gonna need any more water in this area, and you can see there's a sprinkler head right here, and there's another one down there, and one where I was digging. He doesn't want any water to go in here anymore, so we'll have to move these heads to the outside of the gazebo. How we're going to do that is with some Super Blue Flex Flex Pipe. You can actually use any other brand of Flex Pipe to do this, but this is my chosen brand. I'm going to cut into the Flex Hose that's here, extend it with a coupling, move it down to here, so that I can install a head that will spray away from the gazebo. It should be noted, running swing pipe more than a few feet will affect the volume to the sprinkler head, which will in turn affect how the sprinkler head performs. All right, so as you can see here, I've got a spray head and I need to move it about three feet over there. And what we usually do to do that is we'll take some swing pipe like this Super Blue Flex and a funny pipe coupling and put this together and connect it to the funny pipe that's in the ground so that we can extend it down to there. Let me show you a little trick with the funny pipe and the coupling and extending and all that stuff. You see this tool right here? This is probably top five tools that irrigation techs use. I know that there's ratchet cutters out there, but they don't do this. There's a little tiny post on the inside here. Let me take this out so you can see it. See the little tiny post? Well, when you stick the funny pipe coupling into the cutters and close the handle, you now have a much more rigid way of holding the funny pipe coupling so you can get it into the swing pipe without hurting your hands. Forget the torches, you don't need them. Today's tech tip, we're gonna show you how to adjust a 5004 Rainbird rotor. As you can see here, they built a new little place over here on the property, so the walkway now goes this way, and this rotor no longer needs to turn in that direction. So let's go ahead and place this tripod down right here, and I'll show you how we adjust it now. With this rotor, the left is its stop. So if I go ahead and adjust this to the minus, it's only gonna minus on my right side here. So now we're only spraying here. So the way that we turn the head is below the turret here. We can take a pair of channel locks and carefully turn the entire head until we get our left stop right where we want it, like right there. And now we can open this up by turning this towards the positive, And now it'll open up to a 90 degree angle. And now we're not watering the pathway anymore. Do you ever run into this problem where you're trying to cut a pipe and it's just bouncing around on it? Well, there's a simple solution to that. You can take some primer and put it on the side of the pipe that you plan on getting rid of. So in my case, that side. And because I did that, now it makes the pipe a little bit hotter and it cuts like butter. Easy peasy. And that was today's tech tip.